Hello friends, welcome to CodeShop. This is Suraj and in this video, let's discuss this problem minimum coins from starters 47. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, there are two type of denomination uh, in a chef land that is coin worth rupees uh, worth one rupees and note worth 10 rupees. Okay. And chef wants to pay his friend exactly X rupees. And here we need to find out what is the minimum number of coins. Okay. Minimum number of coins chef needs to pay exactly x rupees okay so now let's see the input and output uh, structure so here in the input first of all we'll get total number of test cases then for each test case we'll get only one integer that is the value of x that is the amount chef needs to pay and in the output we need to print the minimum number of coins required to uh, pay exactly this much amount to uh, his friend okay now let's see the test cases so here in the first test case, the value of X is 53. Okay. So chef can pay 50 rupees in note. That is uh, five note of rupees 10 and three rupees and three coins. That is uh, three coins of one rupees each. So in total, chef will need just three coins. So output is three. And now let's see the second case here where X is equals to 100. So here in this case, chef can pay 10 note of 10 rupees each and 0 coin so the output for second test case is 0 and in the third test case the value is 9 okay so here chef cannot pay uh, in note the so chef will have to chef will have to pay 9 rupees in coin so the output for third test case is 9 okay and uh, now let's see the fourth one here the value of x is 11 so chef can pay one note of rupees 10 and one coin so the output for last test case is one that is the minimum number of coin is one so now let's discuss the approach so chef needs to pay total x rupees to his friend and here in this x rupees we can write this x as 10 times a plus b okay so here uh, we can distribute this x into uh, uh, rupees of 10 uh, 10 rupees note and uh, and b coins okay so here First of all, we'll divide this x by 10. So how can I, how can we do this? We can divide this x by 10 and we get some quotient here. And after this division, we'll get some remainder. So what will happen? We can pay exactly Q nodes of rupees 10 and then we'll left out with remainder that will be less than 10. So that value we cannot pay in note. So this remainder, this value we have to pay in coins and that r here will be simply equals to b so in short to answer this problem here our answer will be simply x modulus 10 so that is whatever the remainder we are getting after divide after division by 10 will be our answer or in short if a number is written here that is 1 2 3 4 and whatever 5 6 7 let's say so whatever comes the last digit here will be our answer so here 7 is our answer okay and so in short whatever comes the last digit is our answer so our answer is simply last digit of x i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in code chef that is code chef's doubt support so let me just show you how you can use this new feature so let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say I pick any problem. So let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem. Then here in this problem, let's say I'm stuck and uh, I'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion. So what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts. So let me start this new chat and here I'll ask a simple question. So let me ask. So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and 
similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly so this doubt support will be available 24 by 7 so you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions here is the implementation in c++ so first of all i'm accepting the value of t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all i'm accepting the value of x then i'm simply printing x modulus 10 that is the remainder which we get after dividing x by 10 here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i'm accepting t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and here in the solution i'm accepting the value of x then here i'm simply printing the last digit of this x i hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both c++ and python in case you have any doubt feel free to write in the comments so let's meet in another video thank you so much